Hi, welcome back to Oklahoma Biker. Um, I'm sitting here today with um, Cassandra Gaines and Greg Sorensen. Cassandra Gaines is the director of the Muskogee of Civic the, Center. Of the Muskogee Civic Center. And Greg, you are? Chief of Volunteer Service at the Jack C. Montgomery VA Medical Center. That's a mouthful. Yeah, I wouldn't it? want to say that three times real fast. Yeah. And they're joining me today to talk a little bit about the Ride for the Vets rally um, uh, happening in Muskogee on uh, Saturday, June 23rd. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And um, can you tell me a little bit about the Ride for the Vets and how this got started? Yeah, the Ride for the Vets, um, we had a um, poker run um, a couple of years ago and we're going to have it the fourth Saturday of every September. And when um, Reggie and my staff was talking to Cassandra one day, they said, you know, we should come up with a bike rally and just kind of ran with it. Cassandra said she locked in on a date and then it just kind of took off from there. It, the ball started rolling there. And, um, we started contacting, emailing. Um, putting flyers out, um, creating flyers um, for the June 23rd um, bike rally. Um, contacted the Oklahoma bikers, in which I tried to become you all's friend and couldn't on Facebook because <laughs> you all had so many friends. So I had to subscribe to you all, and then Mr. Briggs contacted me, and that's how that got started. So Now, is this the first year for the bike rally on June 23rd? Yes, this is the first year that the city... Um, has ever hosted a bike rally um, of this kind. Um, we got prize money involved. Um, uh, we got um, a lot of, um, like the first 50 out-of-towners that come in, we give them away t-shirts. Um, we're doing a scavenger hunt, um, giving away a thousand dollars. Oh, wow. Yeah, the thousand um, dollars is for um, whoever drives to a muggy and back to Muskogee and spend the night. And you probably saying, why a muggy? The reason why, because Gladys Knight is performing that night free, along with the Temptations in which we had there in February from the veterans. Mm -hmm. So this give our city an opportunity to hold on to that tourism dollars. So that's the reason why we're putting that thousand dollars out. Oh, great. Now, Cassandra, the money that you raise, what, what does it go to? The money that um, Greg raised goes to the veterans for their toiletries, mm -hmm. um, socks, their entertainment, um, transportation, transportation needs for and whatever they need. Oh, that's wonderful. I, I just think that's really, really mm -hmm. great. So, um, how, many, how, many are, how many bikers are you expecting? Um, we're, my ultimate goal is 500. Okay, so do we hear that? 500 bikers. We, want we five, need all your help. We yes. need your help. <laughs> we want five. We got room for 500 bikers to come to our city. Okay, we can make room for more. If we yeah, want we can make room for more. <laughs> um, we got the games that we got planned for. The committee is doing an outstanding job to welcome them into our city. Um, like I said, this is the first of its kind, but however, we've been getting pointers from people like um, the bike, um, you all, and um, other ones that have been putting on rallies, they've been giving us pointers as well. Great. Well, I just think this is a great rally, and I just hope a lot of people turn out for it, because I know we're going to be there, and um, it sounds like a lot of fun, and um, great time. So, join us June 23rd, Muskogee, for Ride for the Vets. postal van did a U-turn in the middle of the highway and I hit him broadside. I was in ICU for nine days. I had already heard of, uh, of Grosky and Smith. I heard through the grapevine that they were, they were young, but they were good. But they have done nothing but been awesome for us. We love those guys. 
If you've been injured and it's not your fault, call Grosby and Smith. We'll help you get your life back. Hi, I'm Eric Cole with the Eric Cole Insurance Agency. We'll insure your home, your auto, your life, and your bike. The Eric Cole Insurance Agency. 1515 East 71st Street, 918-430-8714. If you folks that own a business are interested in advertising with our Triple Threat, our magazine, which has a circulation of over 6,000 readers locally, our website, which has over 30,000 unique hits monthly, or our television show, which airs to almost 700,000 households throughout Oklahoma, be sure and call me, Daryl Briggs, 918-260-7195. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Hi, I'm Jamie Harris with Qantas Creative. How many of you are business owners? Can you imagine doing business without a telephone number, an email address, or business cards? It'd be pretty hard, wouldn't it? A website is like all of these rolled into one and mixed with a resume as well. Contact Qantas Creative today for a website that will impress. Call us at 918-794-2758 or visit our website at QantasCreative.com. That's QantasCreative.com. Hi, welcome back to Oklahoma Biker. I'm sitting here today with bookkeeper Bob and Cruncher from BACA, Bikers Against Child Abuse. And uh, just gonna find out a little information about the Tulsa chapter here and uh, what they do and uh, how they do it. So, um, Cruncher, Bookkeeper Bob, can you give me, either one of you give me a little history about uh, BACA and how it started? Well, it started about 96, 95, 96 by a guy, J.P. Lilly, <coughs> excuse me, in uh, Provo, Utah. And uh, he was running to think he was a child advocate for the courts and he would work for these little ones, getting them ready to go to court, and then they would see the perp, the perp would intimidate them and everything had gone to hell on them. Um, and he started with some guys that he knew that rode, and that's where it was actually born. Uh, it came to Oklahoma about 97, and uh, a couple of guys of which Cruncher was one talking about things, just sitting in a bar, and this guy Mule that brought it down was telling them about it, and so it kind of started there. And it, we were the first chapter outside of Utah, and Cruncher is the oldest standing chapter outside of Utah. Wow. So he's been around a while to where it bothers his eyes now. So <laughs> that's why right now I'm, I'm that, the oldest. That's why he's wearing the sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> I know these lights are a little bright. Oh, yeah. It's like <laughs> so, broad um, daylight. How many children do you think approximately have you helped in the last year? You're probably between 25, 30, maybe 35. It's, it's hard to gauge because a lot of times we'll adopt one of the child, the, the one that was had this evil stuff happen to them, uh, but we adopt the others that's in the family or in a group. And sometimes we adopt three or four in one ride. So it's, it's really kind of hard to, to gauge, to gauge mm -hmm. because there's just so many things we don't know, especially the general membership of the chapter. Uh, it's like, you know, we never know what happened to the child or anything like that unless the child in conversation tells us. Right. So it's it's just really hard to gauge and, and it, we don't have a statistician to go back and find how many we've helped. In the last well, you know, abuse is a family disease. And so many times, I know I was um, the victim of physical and sexual abuse growing up, and there was not an organization like BACA. In fact, it was all hush-hush, and you know, you didn't talk about it. It was the secret that you were ashamed of and whatever. So, but I know that um, it, my mother was abused and you know, um, my other siblings. Well, in a way, it's learned behavior. Um, and they say that every person that is abused, molested, neglected, or sexually abused, uh, is, uh, will go on to abuse another 70 or so. That's one of our patches is breaking the chains. Right. And that's breaking the chains of that behavior and teaching these kids that there's things that are not acceptable. Mm -hmm. And so it's, uh, it's, it seems like there's more now than there was, but it's just with the laws that have changed, which the laws for child abuse are in place because of um, animal abuse. 
-hmm. and the law is to stop that. And right. So it's it's just a thing that, and you don't ever get used to being around these babies that, that this has happened to. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's it's what you want to do is break that that behavior right. pattern, so then right. to realize that it's not acceptable. That was just for our chapter here. There's 12 other chapters in right. the state doing the same thing we do here. So within the state, you know. We've got uh, somewhere in the neighborhood 75 to 80 chapters across the, the, the United States. We've got chapters in Australia. Uh, now we've got them in Italy, uh, the Netherlands. We've got temp charters in Canada, Germany, Austria, and the interest was in France. Well, do you have any events coming up that we can mention real quick? Anything, any fundraisers coming up? I know we just had one at Crow Creek, and uh, that was mm -hmm. that was a great event. Anything else coming up Probably in the near weekend. future? Well, this weekend, yeah, you want to talk about it? We're having a 100-mile ride this weekend, and uh, that's done worldwide. It's to raise awareness of child abuse, and we all get out on the road and ride 100 miles to somewhere, and we're going to be doing that this Saturday. And we all raise money it's like a marathon race where you get people to donate, for each mile and uh, is to raise money for to help other chapters out too and also help us out and raise awareness at the same time. Well we really appreciate you guys being being here for the children and um, we just have the we hold you in the highest regard and have the utmost respect for you and for what you do and um, I, I'm glad that you were able to join me today and talk a little bit about Baca because it's so dear to my heart and um, so I hope you support your local Baca chapters and give when you can because it does take your contributions and donations to keep the, these organizations running. So um, give what you can and support these guys. Thanks. I'm Jamie Harris with Qantas Creative. How many of you have a business card, email address, or telephone number? Now can you imagine doing business without any of those? It'd be pretty hard, wouldn't it? A website is like all of those rolled into one and mixed with a resume as well. Like a business card or a storefront, having a website legitimizes your company in the minds of your customers by showing that you have an investment in it. And customers who feel that you're invested are more likely to invest by purchasing your product or service. Additionally, what do you do when you hear about a new business? Well, over 90% of people look them up online. That's why having a website is so important. What's the most important part of a successful website? Design. At Qantas Creative, our website development team has a combined experience of 14 years using website platforms such as Drupal, Joomla, and WordPress, and coding languages such as CSS, HTML, and Flash. What does that mean to you? Simply put, nearly anything you want for your website, we can make it happen. Contact Qantas Creative today for a website that will impress. If you folks that own a business are interested in advertising with our triple threat, be sure and call me, Daryl Briggs, 918-260-7195. They're open till 7, Monday through Friday, 6 on Saturdays, and 5 on Sunday. <laughs> there anyone that can testify to the accuracy of your story? Yeah, yeah! All the salespeople were caring and friendly, and they knew everything about home entertainment, all my home entertainment needs, and from, from HD TVs to camcorders and 3D TVs. <laughs> hmm.
The evidence all points to Sony, choosing Video Revolution for major growth as an Oklahoma independent retailer. Video Revolution even offers a 30-day lowest price money-back guarantee. The facts are evident with features and prices you won't find at a big box store. My investigation is proof positive for the best service before and even after the sale. It would be a crime not to stop by Video Revolution Hey, welcome back to Oklahoma Biker. We've got some friends of ours here today from CORE, the Coalition of Independent Riders. Uh, folks, would you introduce yourselves? And Let's start over here with Justin. Absolutely, I'm Justin Hall. I'm the uh, Lieutenant Commander for the Coalition of Independent Riders in Oklahoma. Uh, my area I focus on primarily is Eastern Oklahoma. Terrific, and Jim? I'm Dr. Jim McKinney, uh, and I am the Oklahoma Commander of the CORE, and uh, I kind of roughshod, run roughshod over everybody else. <laughs> well, we're talking about the core. Can you explain to me exactly what the core is? Well, the core is, was, origi was originally formulated as an outreach for the U.S. Defenders. Now, the U.S. Defenders is a part of the uh, uh, Confederation of Clubs. It's their their legislative people, the people that call, have calls to action, just like the call to action we had today involving Sen uh, Senator Sensenbrenner on the uh, motorcycle on the checkpoints. They saw a need for more boots on the ground and the way, way to do that is to bring more people in that were independents and have them join into the Corps. We do this strictly um, as in two segments. One is for political outreach and the other is for community outreach. The importance of the community outreach is is obvious when we have tornadoes, when we have something uh, where a uh, emergency response team may need uh, additional manpower, we can call, we can contact our members and say do we have carpenters, do we have uh, IMSA people, do we have uh, doctors or nurses? Because these are all people that are part of the core. So what I'm hearing from you, this is a an organization within the Oklahoma Confederation of Clubs that of independent riders, people that ride independently do not wear any patches. Right. The background of the core is we realized that we have some good organizations in place. We have the Confederations of Clubs. We have motorcycle rights organizations. Uh, at the state and federal level, we have groups like ABAT, we have groups like the MRF, we have our COC members. But what we think about it in a larger sense is, <clears throat> if you look at the thousands and thousands of motorcyclists on the road in Oklahoma, and you compare that to the number that we have in these political organizations, it's just a small percentage of motorcyclists. So with the core, what we want to do is we want to reach out to all these people who may not be directly involved with these other organizations. We want to get them information. When we have anything politically that's going to affect motorcyclists in the state or nationwide, as we're doing with our current call to action, we want to bring these current these independents on board to just have strength in numbers, so they can contact their legislatures. Is that what you're saying? Ab absolutely. And let them know that what we're trying to do is to lobby for motorcyclist rights. Absolutely. Helmet laws, the red light law, the wasn't that the gunner's law? Uh, well, the gunner's law was was a was uh, formulated after the the death of, of uh, one of the debate members named yes. Gunner. And I want you folks to know, I am and Cheryl, we're we're members of the Coalition of Independent Writers, and we get emails when there's something that will be affecting the biker community and I usually get it from one of you guys. So how do we how do we tell our audience what can we do to get them involved with the Coalition of Independent Riders and how do they become members? Uh, we'll have uh, information booths set up at Sparks. Uh, we have email addresses that we can get to you if you want to include those with the program. Uh, Oklahoma.coir at gmail.com is a good way to get in touch with us. We also have a Facebook page. Let's do this. Let's put a link on oklahomabiker.net to you guys. You guys can go to oklahomabiker.net 
and get hold of the Coalition of Independent Writers for membership information. Guys, we want to thank you for coming in. We truly appreciate it. Thank you for coming in and explaining the Coalition of Independent Writers to us. We look forward to seeing you guys later. Stay tuned for the break. Party at Jew Jacks? Well, don't drink and drive. Ride the Jew Jacks bus. Free in the Bixby City limits with $20 purchase. Expanded areas, just $10 a couple round trip. Call Jew Jacks for more information at 918 366 done. The Jew Jacks bus picks you up at your home and drops you off safely when you're ready. The party starts at Jew Jacks Friday and Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Call 918 366 3663. Jew Jacks is south of the river, south of 151st, south of everything. If you folks that own a business are interested in advertising with our Triple Threat, our magazine, which has a circulation of over 6,000 readers locally, our website, which has over 30,000 unique hits monthly, or our television show, which airs to almost 700,000 households throughout Oklahoma, be sure and call me, Daryl Briggs, 918-260-7195. I look forward to hearing from you soon. I better compare other TV prices on my cell phone. Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, uh, I thought I had a text message or something. No worries. At Video Revolution, we encourage our customers to shop around for the best price. We'll even match it. For 28 years, Video Revolution has offered service, features, and prices you won't find in a big box store. You know, you look like Joe Pesci. Hi, I'm Eric Toll with the Eric Toll Insurance Agency. We'll insure your home, your auto, your life, and your bike. The Eric Toll Insurance Agency, 1515 East 71st Street, 918-430-8714. Oh, hey folks, welcome back to Oklahoma Biker. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Cheryl, and this is our mm -hmm. talking you're welcome. This is our Talking Trash segment. Uh, we've got a lot of things coming up in the near future. Next weekend, there's just tons of things going on in the biker community. Uh, if you have one of these little ride guides, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, honey, what else is going on? Well, like you said, a lot of things going on. We've got uh, June 16th, uh, Oklahoma City Ride for America. Um, June, we also have the ROK Rally Poker Run in Norman, Oklahoma. Muskogee, June 23rd is uh, the Ride for the Vets Bike yeah, Rally. We'll, we'll be at that. We're going to go see Cassandra down at uh, the Civic Center in Muskogee. We'll see y'all there. Absolutely. And June 14th through, 20, through the 24th is on the front cover of the magazine. You'll see is Sparks America Bike Week. Hey, Robert. And Sparks and Sparks America. Sparks America, yeah. So that's going to be a great rally, so everybody check that out. Sparks is always good. June 15th through the 16th in Chandler, Hog Wild Barbecue and Chrome Fest. June 15th through 16th in Weatherford, the Heartland Cruise Car Show. And uh, June 16th, um, another great uh uh, poker Run, Outlaw and Lawman Poker Run. That's in Muskogee. That's where my mama lives. Mom will come see that weekend. We're going to be down there and go that Outlaw and Lawman Poker Run. And that's Guess which one I am. <laughs> and that's for the what, the Shriners? That's the Shriners. They raise money for the Children's Hospital. Absolutely. And um, Jim Ritchie was on here just uh, a week or so ago. Right. Last week, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, and told us about that. And Ride for the Vets, which we're going to be there, that was Cassandra's thing on June 23rd, that is to benefit the VA hospital there and to buy, help buy toiletries and things, you know, that the, the veterans need that are there in the hospital. Yeah, that's actually for the Veterans Hospital in Muskogee, in Muskogee isn't it? So right. that stays right here in our home area. 
Right, so come out and support those. And uh, June 16th in Noble, the PMRA, Professional Motorcycle Racing Association, drag races. Um, that's in Noble, Oklahoma. June 16th. Bring your plugs. <laughs> June 16th in Tonkawa. Tonkawa. Good Vibrations Car Show, Motorcycles 2. Uh, June 18th, everywhere. Ride your motorcycle to work day. June 18th. Honey. I get to ride my bike to work. How cool is that? Honey, do you think I can make it there in second gear? From I, don't think to Tulsa? <laughs> I don't think you I haven't can learned how that. to get out of second gear yet. So how am I going to ride to work? Um, maybe I can take you. Then, yeah, I'll have to take my blow dryer and all that when I get to work. I can't You'll be blown. Why well, you need a blow dryer? You're going to be blown. You're yeah, going to be on the back of my motorcycle. I'll have seat. chicken hair, you know. that. <laughs> look like a chicken comb. Yeah. So anyway, that's really a really busy weekends a lot weekend. of things going on that weekend next weekend after this show yeah hey folks uh we're getting ready to do uh another one of these little publications where uh if you've got an event coming up or run rally motorcycle mm -hmm. event and you would like to have it listed in the writer's magazine please contact us you can call us you can email us you can get a hold of us on facebook we want to be sure that we don't miss your event. We will not only put it in the calendar of events in the next publication of the Writer's Magazine, it will also go on our calendar on our website. Uh, if any of you out there have businesses that you want to advertise in uh, the Writer's Magazine, please get hold of us. We need all the help we can get. Um, honey, do you have anything else that we need to talk about this week? No, I, I don't have anything this week. It was nice ta uh, doing Talking Trash at our house last, last weekend. That was fun. Was I that? love that. Yeah. I think we're going to do that again coming up pretty soon, aren't we? Yeah. Me, and you, so. and Mr. Bubble. Oh, yeah. Our <laughs> jacuzzi tub. We have a big jacuzzi tub set. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be fun, folks. Yes. Hey, we appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. Um, for all the upcoming events, we'll list those every week on our show. We appreciate you watching us each week. Watch out for the cages. We look forward to seeing you in the wind. Take Have care. a great week. Mm.